Hello everybody and welcome back. I haven't done this in quite a long time and there's a perfectly good explanation for that which I will give you um, over time. There, I've been through a lot lately. The last time I actually touched this game was forever ago. I I feel so bad about that. I Life happens, we get busy, and it makes me wonder how many of the people are actually still waiting for me to actually upload these. last time I was actually playing this was last year with my friend Looney. Uh, we haven't really... I haven't... I, for one, have been doing... No time to talk, things, Gary! Looney I'm on an important mission for really Mermaid Man and Barnacle here, Boy. Which is okay. Ow. So, the last thing I need to do is shut down the security system. It sucks, too, because this is one of those blind playthroughs. I don't even know where to begin with shutting the security system down. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's it. Bam! Out! Oh, stay away! Okay. Fresh like a spring breeze. I'm not sure if it works the other way around, but I'm not actually sure how long this is. Uh, I'm not even sure where I'm at, to be honest. But like, it's been a while. If I just keep running along the path, will I be able to shut the security system down? Ow! Ow. Oh, what the fuck? Get away! Feel like a new sponge! Ow! Okay. Ow! Still too close to that guy. Okay, we are going to go this way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still not adjusted to the fact that I haven't touched this in ages. Fresh like a spring breeze! Uh, crap. Tartar sauce! The horror! Ouch! Gosh damn it! Fuck! And they're cheering at me. Okay. Okay. How far away am I from where I actually was when I started? Ow! Why do Mermaid Man and Monica Boy need a security system this point anyway? Are they trying I to feel keep like a new sponge. the robots? I love opening presents. I go the yeah. way, so. You've just met the Spongeinator. The rolling ball area. If I remember correctly, that's where I had war flashbacks. Ah, oh, this room. Fuck this. I know it's been a while, but I definitely very clearly remember this. Screw you, Mr. Krabs, and your fucking fake-ass voice. Fresh like a spring breeze. SpongeBob. Press all of the security override buttons throughout the Mermalair. Then Where the hell are the other buttons at anyways? And I how did I end up over here again? That's my biggest thing. 
It's a real shame too, because I'm not actually sure where the security level is, or where all the buttons are, or any of that other fun stuff. I found it. That I, had to, I had to do some quick googling. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh Patrick, wait, he never idiot. wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Thank you, Barnacle Boy. I'll do my best. Even though I'm not sure what I should be doing. Okay, so I need to turn the cylinders. Uh, oh, I think I kind of... Okay, I get what kind of puzzle this is. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Shithole, I didn't want that one. Go, you. Alright, let's try resetting it and see if I can solve it better that way. Okay, so they all start pretty much the same way. Throw that there. Throw that there. There. I did it! I did it, Barnacle Boy! Give me my fucking prize! Ah, well done! Now there's enough power! What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course! Foot bath? Here, have a golden spatula! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! There, all the buttons are pressed now. Pretty sparkly. Ouch. Oh. Come on, you. Okay. Swapping the SpongeBob. Now I can go to security.
I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Okay, master shutdown button. Let's do it. God damn it, what move is it? <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Uh oh, what's this? It looks like the last area has opened up for me. Oh, cool. I didn't have to run that whole way. the security system has been shut down and we got a good checkup hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory yeah well justice boy you also cut the power to the mermelayer's bcs that's villain containment system is that bad does mermaid man smell like sour milk yes yes i do oh no it looks like one of the villains is broken free what's that an evil doer on the loose who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of null driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. I've Everything never seen this guy I in a TV show before. Pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge! There's a cellular difference! A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky! By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Alright, I can do it. What is it, boss fight? Oh, I feel like a new sponge! How the hell is this Solo Rama! Ah, okay, I get it now. I wish there was, uh... Fresh, like a spring breeze! But it's possible! I have to time my jumps just right. Hammer! I get it! Gotcha, bitch. No, no, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another. Golden spatula! I 
Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Fine, Mermaid Man, I'll leave. That's all of them here. I know I'm missing some socks, but that's okay. All right, we're back in Bikini Bottom, and that seems to be everything possible at the moment, which is good. I think this is where I'll stop it here. I still have to make my little PSA of where I was for the ever ago. So, with that said, I will see you all hopefully not in eight months, and thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. Uh, for those of you who still watch my videos, thank you. Once again, I really appreciate it. Uh, here's a bit of a PSA for where I've been for the last eight months. I just got done finishing a Spongebob episode. Uh, whether or not I put this before or after or in its own video is one thing I don't know yet. It likely won't be its own thing, I don't think. But here's what's been going on. Um, I haven't filmed anything since at least the end of September. Uh, I've been uploading some of those things periodically throughout the time or working on montages for Smash Brothers. The workload I have gets more and more insane every single day. Um, and I tend to try to hang out with my friends, such as Matthew and a friend of mine named Carson here, in, more so than filming the videos, since it's a more enjoyable task for me than going through the lengths of all this editing and stuff when my time is already limited as is uh, back in November I was robbed at gunpoint I didn't have a gun pointed at me no they that was just a that was just a blank threat but more or less the point is I was robbed at my come and go job um, no I wasn't harmed no they didn't steal anything from me but uh, it's definitely traumatizing. I don't know if I've been expressing it well, because I'm not exactly good at expressing feelings, if you hadn't already noticed by the tone of my voice. I have like a very monotonish voice, and it doesn't work right for me. Uh, I've also lost a couple of friends here. Poor decisions on their parts, or mine. Uh, whatever way you want to look at it. It hasn't really been during, but... Basically, I ended up start I ended up losing Bastard last August, if you all remember that. Um, one second. So this little guy here is Cabo. I actually adopted him back in February. He is sort of like my bastard replacement. He's a nice boy. Um, Cabo, say hi. He, he, was, he was running around when I just interrupted him. But uh, back in Bastard's death made me realize that I wanted something more with my life. And with that, I started college for the second time. Uh, I have been going to college as a vet assistant at a school called Pima Medical Institute for the last eight months. And that is the reason you've barely seen an upload from me because I've been working my full-time come-and-go job along with that for the last eight months, and it has actually been one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my life so far. Filming these videos is a breeze compared to what I've had to do. I mean, it's nurse work for animals, and they had this thing where you had to, like, pass a skill test and you'd only get, like, two attempts, and it's just really... It was just really out there, I guess you could say. Like, for example, I'd have to, like, know how to correctly draw up the right amount on a syringe, and I'd get two chances. I'd have to know how to aseptically throw an instrument onto a table. Aseptic aseptically means uh, sterile, by the way. 
So I'm not allowed to touch it. So I basically pretend that uh pretend that my one terabyte flash drive that I use to hold all the montage clips I get for Smash is an aseptical instrument. Um, I'm supposed to get that onto my table without touching it, and that's a very difficult task. If it fell on the floor, if you, I had to redo the entire class. And no, that is not a joke. So my studies were obviously very important, and I didn't want to jeopardize my studies over that. And on top of that, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, my mother and I and my brother have all been having to work extra hard to pay for the place we are in. Now, I won't get into any details on that because that's personal. You know, this is YouTube. I'm not going to... Okay, YouTube is already sort of a garbage site in general, but I'm not going to make it even more garbage by spewing personal issues. But um, Monday... Or what is it? But uh, basically, the rent has gone up at the place we live, and I've been forced to deal extra... The amount of money I've sort of saved up over the last two years has sort of been slimming down. So I've actually, on top of school and uh, full-time job at Come and Go, I have been doing Grubhub and DoorDash as like a side hustle, if you want to call it that, to get extra money. I, uh, you know, it, that actually is very fun though. Come and Go as of late hasn't been the most enjoyable thing. I still really do like my managers, despite the bullying. They can say whatever they want, but it's not bully. They aren't. They are definitely bullying me into trying to work extra overnights because they don't want to do it. And who who do I blame them? Not really, because who wants to work overnight shifts that come and go? You know, especially when I feel like I'm being stalked. There is a graffiti artist that keeps doing it, and on top of that, getting robbed hasn't made me working at come and go any easier. I've actually had a ton of videos filmed since September of last year, but haven't uploaded anything due to this. I've just been too tired to want to do anything other than work, school, or hang out with my friends. Which is totally acceptable given my sub count. It's not like i am got any sort of a presence on here. And if I ever did have any sort of a presence on here, it still wouldn't take place with what you should be doing in real life. Uh, the internet is not some sort of uh, second universe, if you should say. You shouldn't be focused more on the internet, more so as your actual life. Like, what is your endeavors and goals? My endeavors and goals have been lying with curing and helping reptiles and birds and other animals ever since the passing of my lizard back in August of last year. But I always see people on the internet obsessing over somebody else, and is that really what's important? It's the internet. No, You don't know anybody on here, and you shouldn't care what anybody on here thinks of you. Now, I know that's a bit hypocritical coming from a guy like myself, but deep down I know that's the case, and I'm sure deep down all of you know that's the case too. So my lack of uploads do involve this, of course, but my priorities are focused on what I want to do personally to make a living, if I were to ever make some sort of a presence on YouTube, most of the money I get would most likely go to a charity because this is just some side thing that I do for fun. It isn't like I wake up every morning and decide that this is what I want to do with my life. You know, if I had to sit here and talk in front of this camera for like a hundred years, I wouldn't want to do that. It's boring. But wrangling animals, I gotta say, has been enjoyable for the most part. I am currently on my final class at the moment. So my video count will start going up again. I am currently in the last class where I need to do an, e an internship at a clinic for six weeks. And I'm already about halfway through with that. So come July 13th, I will be a certified VA, provided that I pass this. So I will be technically an animal for nurses, and that makes me excited. Uh, and I do plan to continue into vet tech, so my video count may drop again during that. But I want to ensure that there's some way I could do more videos and stuff because I have a lot of ideas under the table that I want to give it a try. You know, YouTube is fun when they're not demonetizing people's videos for no reason. I like to think that I have a shot at making something fun and entertaining for people, and most of my friends do find what I make is entertaining. I do hope to bring more entertainment to randos too, maybe brighten up their day. Because let's face it, helping animals is fun too, but I like to help people as well, given w when I can. And I'd like to do it in a non-financial way, since money doesn't grow on trees, as I'm starting to slowly realize. Uh, but hopefully I can get into more details about stuff during future Let's Plays, if you watch those. 
I might have a story to share here and there. And uh, I wanted to try something new a lot forever ago that I never been able to film. So following this, I'll probably film that and upload it and see how it takes. Uh, but anyways, that's my quick little PSA. I hope you guys continue to watch my stuff. If not, that's fine. I don't care. Um, I'm sure you guys have better things to do than watch some 24-year-old sitting in his mom's house uploading stuff. Um, come next year, I most likely will have my own place as well. So, you know, maybe it'll go up, maybe it won't. I don't know. Uh, the future isn't everything. We will just have to see where life takes us. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching this little PSA. I appreciate your support and um, have a great day.